you know, um, today's video will be all about, well, hold on. first of all, a trigger warning for people that don't like feet. This video is going to be all about my feet, so if you don't like them, or if you don't like feet in general, or puffy feet, you've been warned. Um, so... Let's continue on. Kristen, my caregiver, will help me with it, so she'll be in this, today's video. Um, okay, so the foot bath and the tea tree oil, the tea tree oil salt. So we both, we, I got it at Amazon, and I will link the things in the um, description so that it will be easier or easy for you to find. So the first thing we're going to do is fill this up with water and then add this tea tree oil which we also got from Amazon but we do like um two heaping teaspoons of this because we don't do this very often. Um, So that's what we're going to add and we'll show you guys that. Also this Conair one has the capability of vi vibrating. Yeah, that took a long time. Um, vibrating to keep it warm. I do not like the vibration on my feet, so we don't use it. So yeah, so I was able to fill it up. And this is about the. I don't know if you guys can see. But now she's adding the tea tree oil, the tea tree oil to the mix with two big sorry teaspoons tablespoons sorry tablespoons and then she's gonna mix it with tickles my feet sometimes <laughs> and just like that we are able to um do that and we do this because my sometimes my um, toenails can get hard and it becomes painful a lot. But when we do this, um, like dead skin it comes off and stuff like that, and um, it makes my toenails a lot softer. With my anatomy, especially, it's hard to figure out what's safe for my, um, or like, cause, cause cutting my toenails are very, it's very hard to cut my toenails when you're a young great person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so because of CP, it's kind of, or with my anatomy, it's kind of painful. And for people that are not educated on it, I'm not, it's, we're not sure what to do with my feet. So this is a good solution. I also went to the podiatrist for the first time. That was a really good experience. If you guys want me to make another video, or other, another video about that, I can. Okay. This this takes about 20 minutes to get all of my skin soft and my toenails soft and um, these are the tools we use so we have the foot scrubber and this is not about it all you need different <coughs> different types of clippers yeah yeah. Scissors are very important because you're very jumpy. Yeah, scissors. So if you use regular nail clippers, sometimes you can jump into them and, cut and they cut too deep. So yeah. you have to use scissors on most of your toenails to make sure that, I that don't, you don't jump I'm jumping. and you don't get hurt. Yeah. Yes. And then we use the foot scrubber to get the dead skin off. Mm -hmm. So that's what we use most of them. And patience. 
Kristen also reminded me that we you usually do um a file most of them because nail files do not cut me. They're easy for me to handle versus um a clipper or scissors can easily cut me with my jumpiness. And so we're gonna show you how we take care of my feet now after it's done so after they're done soaking.
Um, I the camera stopped right as we were just finishing up filming this video, so I didn't get a chance to do my outro. So, uh, so as you saw, we were just finishing up, and Chris eventually painted my nails. But I wanted to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. Sorry. And if you have any other video suggestions, um, that will really help me out. Um, or any questions, please make sure if you don't want anybody to hear your question, I do have a contact me page on my on my website. It's called authorhonestcare.com. So if you want to like have privacy you can also ask me questions there um and i will try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching this video bye